Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. I'm coming at you guys with a new Skyrim tutorial today. I've seen a lot of people have been commenting on my videos asking about SKSE. Uh, a lot of people are having trouble running the game after they mod it because they haven't installed SKSE. So uh, SKSE is called Skyrim Script Extender. It basically allows the game to use the code for all the mods. That's the easiest way I could describe it. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. I'm going to go ahead and install it into my Skyrim. It's very simple. Uh, I already have it installed though. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what you have to do. So straight from here, we are going to go to Google. And we are going to type in SKSE. Look at that. The first link that comes up is skse.silverlock.org. This is it. You're going to come over here and you are going to see current classic build. This is for uh, original regular Skyrim. This is the special edition build and this is the virtual reality build. So you click all of these. Usually I would click the 7 zip archive for all of them because then it is going to download this. Now, as you can see, when you download this file, it is SKSE 64, yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. That's where I download everything. So SKSE 64. You're going to need WinRAR for this. So when you open it up, you're going to see all of this. Now, I think what a lot of people do is they drag this into the mods folder and that is incorrect. That is what you don't want to do. So let's go to our Skyrim Special Edition section. Uh, I have a bookmark for it. makes it a lot easier. So when you install SKSE, you want to highlight everything that's in this folder that comes with the download. And you want to drag it into the... Skyrim special edition folder so for me it's gonna move these files over it's gonna say blah 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 replace for you guys it's probably gonna say blah 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 replace too because um, I believe it replaces some files when you first do it anyway if it doesn't if I'm wrong just it's fine just drag everything in I'm gonna replace the files I'm gonna do it anyway just in case it's been updated recently uh, it'll help my Skyrim and make it run better. So guess what, guys? That's it. It is done. You have installed Skyrim Script Extender. Now, to test it... Uh, oh, this is actually something really important that you need. When you install this now, you're no longer going to run Skyrim the way that you run it. You are going to click the SKSC64 loader. So I usually bookmark it. That's that's what this is down here, but I'm going to have to change it now. So I would unpin from the taskbar, and then I would just take this and drag it back to the uh, taskbar. And then that's your new launcher for Skyrim. So if you click it, it will launch the game. Alright guys, so this is what I've noticed. The mods are working and everything, and everything is fine. I didn't have any SKSE or any Sky UI errors. Uh, all the interface stuff is working. All the mods are working correctly. But, if I... I guess I'm going to have to quit the game because I can't really get out of this now. But if I load up the game, it does not say the SKSE version anymore. So if it does not say the SKSE version for your Skyrim after you do this, don't panic. Just check to see if the mods are working when you load up the game. So I'm just going to show that to you guys now. So here we go. I'm in the main menu. And we don't have it. So there you go, guys. That is how to install SKSE for your Skyrim. It works exactly the same for every version of Skyrim. You just have to make sure you download the right one. And that is it. So I hope this helped you guys. 
Uh, a lot of intense mods require SKSC. So if you are downloading a lot of mods into your Skyrim and you're loading up the game and you're like, what? I did everything right, but it's not working. That's because you didn't download SKSC or you did not download it correctly. So make sure you watch this video. Have a good day, guys. If you enjoyed the video, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Thank you very much and have a good day. What? I did everything right, but it's not working.